guys, this is my very first YouTube video. I'm actually going to be doing a series of videos on this. This is going to be a bypass centrifuge, uh, bypass oil centrifuge install on a M35 A2 deuce and a half multi fuel engine. Okay, guys, I um one of the reasons that uh, I wanted to uh, install one of these on my truck was obviously to uh, have less wear and tear on my engine, and um you know and less uh, frequent oil changes. Um, there's a lot of different centrifuges out there, but um, PA Biodiesel Supply, this is this guy right here, Joe. This is his company. Um, he's a uh, uh, really good guy to deal with. His website's got a ton of information. Um, uh, and uh, like I said, uh, this is his 65-gallon uh, his, uh, per hour unit. Um, this is what I'll be running on my truck uh, during my install, uh, and uh, you know I'll have videos posted up of that. Of that, you know the other reason I wanted to do these videos um, was to kind of demystify and get a little more information out there um, <clears throat> about how uh, a bypass centrifuge works. Um, I've read a lot of the websites. Some had some really good information, some didn't. But um, you know, uh, like I said. Um, <clears throat> You know, with all with our economy the way it is, and a lot of people trying to watch the, uh, what they spend their money on and, and being really careful um, how they spend it, um, I just couldn't justify spending, um, you know, between five hundred and a thousand dollars on a centrifuge when I got this set up and um, here for um, around two hundred dollars, and this will include all, you know, will include is including all my fittings. Um, and then I'll, you know, plus I'll have to um, get one more length of hose or whatever, depending on how I mount this. Um, but, um, you know, uh, I wanted to clarify that um, the only difference between this centrifuge and um, the Spinner 2 centrifuge um, is um, the, center, the Spinner 2 centrifuge is um, air um, drain back, which basically it has an internal float inside there. Um, that um, goes up and down to uh, add, let air in and out to allow you to force the, ho uh, the, the oil into a smaller hose back to the drain pan. Where this this centrifuge here is um, gravity drain back. Basically, um, it just drains back through the power of gravity. It's really a simple setup. Um, I, I, as you can see, there's nothing, no float or anything in there, um, it, and uh, it just uses the power of gravity. Uh, to drain your oil back um, you know therefore you know you're you're eliminating um, you know any potential extra problems by extra parts um, and also the cost factor um, <clears throat> you know this um, this setup is is like I said it's it's you know a really uh, simple deal um, you know there's no disposables um, the only thing you really dispose of uh, is inside your um, your contaminants bowl. Uh, once this fills up, you have a paper liner that goes inside there. Um, it allows you to remove the cake easier when it's time to clean this out. Um, like I said, guys, um, uh, you know I wanted to bring this information to y'all, and uh, you know because I have, have not seen um, any uh, videos uh, on um, on the, um, YouTube or anywhere that shows like. Uh, an install uh, of a bypass centrifuge other than one on a truck running which that doesn't really inform people of anything and that and the fact that it was um, um, the spinner 2 one um, and um, now uh, even though this says PA biodiesel supply on the um, on the canister uh, this this centrifuge first and foremost is a bypass engine oil uh, centrifuge the only thing that is different between this and uh, the waste veggie oil ones you see is this plunger right here. This basically uh, operates off of your engine oil pressure. And once you're up to pressure, this opens to allow your centrifuge um, to start operating. And also, um, I would assume um, when um, if your em uh, engine um, oil pressure is too low, that this valve will not open and therefore help prevent um, any damage to your engine. Um, like I said, guys, um, you know, I'm going to be doing a uh, series of videos on this. Um, uh, 
and uh, also walking through uh, the bracket that I um, make for it and, and the actual install on the truck and how I do it. Um, and then, uh, you know, whether you have a deuce and a half like I do um, or if you have a Dodge or a Ford, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can mount these guys uh, and, you know, and it'll save you a pile of money. Um, just, you know, with things the way they are, I don't think I'm, you know, a lot of people can afford that. Kind. All right, guys. Well, um, in my next video, I'm going to post uh, that I'll be posting up. I will uh, be going through the mechanics of this centrifuge and um, <clears throat> showing you um, how it goes together and how it comes apart. Uh, this will um, help make things a little easier um, for all of you who have questions out there. And um, once I install it on the truck, I will show that also and, you know, of it running you know, and then that way, you know, um, I can answer a lot of you guys' questions. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video.